Hello guys, this is a case of 45 years old gentleman, case of posterior dislocation of elbow as you can see. The patient had a history of fall on outstretched hand, half an hour back, following which patient has pain, swelling and deformity over the left elbow as you can see. These are the x-rays as you can see. There is no obvious bony fracture as of now and uh, only thing you can see in AP and lateral views is the posterior dislocation of elbow. Right, so today we are going to see how do we manage a posterior dislocation of elbow. First and foremost is we got the x-rays done. We gave the pain management that is injection dynapar. We wanted to re relax the muscles over here. So we have already given injection myoral. Now we position the patient in prone position. Right, and what we want to do is, we want to do is, we will give a axial traction, we will give a axial traction at the forearm, right, with one hand and this, as you can see, the three point bony anatomy is not yet maintained, right, so our purpose is, this is the olecranon, so our purpose is for the olecranon to fit back three point bony anatomy of elbow to be restored, so with one hand, we will give traction, thumb, with one hand, we will give a traction and with the other hand, and with uh, the thumb, we will push the olecranon towards the elbow joint, right. Hey. See, this is the elbow reduction immediately, immediately we check for the three point bony anatomy that is maintained. We keep the patient in flex position of the elbow and immediately we will apply the above elbow slab and we will go, we'll go for a check x-ray, right? After the reduction, we will check for active finger movements uh, which are present okay. and we will check for uh. the distal pulses. Okay. And the distal pulses are well felt, right? Then we will give the above elbow slab. Okay.